Student Services Manager, from helping students just get acclimated to the city, to planning events, to insurance and health resources. So. Yeah, I work really closely with Alpita and do, you kind of work with students and do student initiatives and events and um, I also work on trying to get corporates on campus and um, kind of trying to expose students to as much networking opportunities as they can. What kind of preparations are you guys doing? So, we all kind of have our roles. Um, I specifically am in charge of our media team this year. It's um, mm -hmm. a great group of students that um, we'll be doing all the social media, picture taking videos for the whole weekend. I work really closely with the judges volunteers, so there, we're going to have at least, I think, 18 uh, really high profile judges um, judging the competition this year. We've been preparing for that. Our student volunteers, we have 70 of them, um, have been working just as hard um, getting ready to welcome those students and, and have the event here on campus. What do you think that, that you can expect out of this year's whole prize? Oh, but really, I think it's um, working working really closely with volunteers. I love working with student volunteers. I would say also um, meeting some of the some of the really high profile judges that we have this year. So I think that's definitely something that I would look forward to as well. Um, I guess for me, I expect a really high packed energy day filled with amazing ideas and a lot of excitement. So it's a really cool opportunity for for not only our staff but especially our students. Mm -hmm. um, well, thank you very much. Thank, Diana. thank you. Yeah. Thanks. Do you mind to come in for an interview for a little bit? Sure. How are you? Thank you for this this chance for me to interview you guys and uh, whole prize volunteering. How do you feel about it? Well, yeah, actually I was telling Amanda that I am really excited because my role is going to be in the photography team. So I'm really looking forward to it. Seeing all the teams, seeing how the competition is going to be done, so that's really cool. I initially was on food and beverage. So I've been making a lot of phone calls to different smaller press and publications and TV reporters, whatnot. And they've been interesting and responsive. Responses have been varied, but hopefully we have a good turnout and I'm really going to be looking forward to working with the press that do show up at the event. Explain to me a little bit of how you dealt with being recruited and uh, the uh, role that you're playing. Yeah. Actually, I'm really excited. I'm very happy that I've been selected to. My role in this specific event uh, organizing at Boston is uh, that of a HALT ambassador, where I will be in charge of two teams that will be participating in the event, competing for the, for the prize, and I will be taking care of everything that they have to, uh, keeping them, uh, uh, giving them all, all the facilities, all the necessary requirements that they need, and uh, also I'll be coordinating uh, their uh, schedules, their uh, events and their competition skills and all that. So I think it is a great opportunity for me to show my skills, showcase my skills, push my limits and make sure and see how I fare when I'm, t I'm being tested uh, between uh, different opportunities and uh, uh, tasks. So that's what I'm looking forward to and I feel that uh, I, will, uh, uh, I will make a good effort uh, at making it a great success. Wow. Well, for, uh, thank you very much for actually joining us today and taking your time out of your busy schedule. And thank you again for joining us at HBN. Please keep watching for more latest news.